So, you want to get one of the best weapons in the game, don't you? Well, this is how. Alright, so in order to get the Giant Slayer Sword, you're going to want to get to Act 3. So once you get to uh, going towards Baldur's Gate Road and everything, uh, the first waypoint you'll come across is Rivington. You're going to want to go north, and then you'll come across south span uh, of Worms Crossing. And then you come north, and you'll eventually come across this area. But there'll be a bridge that's up. Currently it's down for me because I've already done it. How I got in is I flew or jump or whatever, just get one character to come down here and then make your way across and around there. So you come down here, around and up here, and you'll have a ladder to cr climb up and then some vines to crawl up. And you'll get to a door that you have to lockpick, get into the second or third floor, and then eventually make your way down. You have some cutscenes up there, something to do up there. But you'll eventually make your way down, and you can open this door, and the bridge will be open on both sides. So you come to the south side of the castle, and it should be your first door on the left. You come in here, and then there'll be a passageway right here. Go through that. Now once you're in the passageway, this door will be shut. This guard will be sleeping, hopefully. Um, you can steal the key from him or lockpick the door. And once you're through, I mean, no one's hostile to me. So, see? So, we're good. So once you come through, take a, your first left. And at the end, you'll see a solid wall and two uh, dragon head torches. So you're going to want to hit these with lightning. Um, to turn it blue. And you might have to hit them both pretty quickly. But yeah, just a lightning arrow or, or normal lightning spell. Single target one will work. Uh, and then it will open up that secret door. So you come through the secret door. And you come down this way. You go through those doors. Now once you go through the Iron Gate, you'll have to do some dialogue with the statue or whatever here. Come into here. When you get to this part, there'll be four different chambers for you to do. So you have the Chamber of Justice, Chamber of Courage, Chamber of Strategy, and the Chamber of Insight. So in order to do the chambers basically we'll go to the left one first so we'll go to the chamber of justice there'll be a enemy here with a large misty debuffed area um what you're going to want to do is just find someone with a remove curse ability so shadow heart should have one uh by default uh i use my paladin for instance but yeah you want to remove curse and cast it on the enemy here then the debuff will go away and then you can collect uh, one of these three paintings. You're going to want the one on the right when you're looking at them. It's called the cell. And you put it down on this pedestal right here. Once you do that, you should have the statue glowing. And that means that you have done it correctly. And you can move on. Now we'll go to the uh, Chamber of Courage. This one is... A little more, it's probably the most difficult one out of the four. Actually, it is. Uh, you're going to need to select that torch. Um, I've already done it, but you'll, you'll, you'll grab a torch and it will be on a specific character. That character and that character alone basically has to survive four rounds. Once it survives four rounds, everyone disappears and you, you beat the, uh, uh, the, the trial. So... <clears throat> What you're going to want to do is put that on your toughest character. Um, if it's a ranged character, that'd be good. But typically, I just stand in the center, and your other characters can heal them and do all the damage. Just keep them alive for four rounds. That's all you really have to do. Uh, they'll be they'll put like a debuff on the ground, then you can move them like out of the area, like back over here, because that's where most of your characters probably will be. But yeah, just survive for four rounds, and you should be good. 
once that's complete, uh, you'll come over here and we'll do the next chamber, which is basically a chess game. Time to press ahead. So we'll come down here to the chamber of strategy. I'll have to destroy one of these crystals to get by. And this is really simple. You can play the game uh, however it's intended, but basically what I did is I just went and killed their king. So their king is weak to lightning damage. You just want to get a character over here, and you should be able to just one-hit it with a lightning spell. And once you do, game over. You win. Statue should be glowing. You can make your way back out. And across over here... And we'll go over to the Chamber of Insight. Now in the Chamber of Insight, there's going to be three red ghosts. So, uh, I don't know why it didn't want me to run on there, but yeah. Bridge is invisible, but you can walk on it. There'll be three red ghosts right over here. You're going to want to kill the furthest one. Uh, his name should be Sulto. S-U-E-L-T-O. And just one hit him. He's only got one hit point. So you could do it with any character pretty much, uh, with a bow or anything. And once you do that, it should be good to go. With the statues glowing, you'll move back out this way. And the final door should be open. This door right here should be open. And you can come down here. So once you get into this room, that door ahead of us will be locked. You'll have to talk to the statue unlock it. Now, ahead of us, can't get past it. There's a tiny little spoiler. Um, but I'm going to leave details out. But basically, you do have to kill a dragon. Um, so you'll come in here. There'll be some dialogue you have to go through. Uh, there'll be a character over here that you have to fight, and a character over here, and the dragon. Um, I believe he might summon some more, but he's tough. He's level 17 with 400 hit points. So you're going to want to focus damage on him, try and kill him quick. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough. But once you do kill him, you'll get this weapon right here. Arguably one of the best weapons in the game. Now once you kill the dragon and loot the sword... You can come over here. And we have the helmet. And this is the helmet you'll get. Which is pretty dang good. Happy hunting, guys.